Are you constantly bothered by the clawing attentions of the male sex? Well, here's a solution for you. Get Ruth Sherwood's new bestseller, 100 Easy Ways to Lose a Man. Chapter 1. Now the first way to lose a man. You've met a charming fellow and you're up for a spin. The motor fails and he just wears a helpless grin. Don't bat your eyes and say, what a romantic spot we're in. Just get out, crawl under the car, tell him it's a gasket, and fix it in two seconds flat with a bobby pin. That's a good way to lose a man. He takes you to a baseball game, you sit knee to knee. He says the next guy up at bat will bunt, you'll see. Don't say, oh, what's a bunt? This game's too hard for little me. <laughs> Just say bunt? What are you, nuts? With no outs, two men on base, and a left-handed batter coming up, you'll walk right into a triple play, just like it happened in the fifth game of the World Series in 1923. <sighs> That's a sure way to lose a man. A sure, 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 sure way to lose a man. A splendid way to lose a man. Just throw your knowledge in his face. He'll never try for second base. You found your perfect mate, and it's been love from the start. He whispers, you're the one to who I give my heart. Don't say, I love you too, my dear. Let's never, never part. Just say, I'm afraid you've made a grammatical error. It's not to who I give my heart. It's to whom I give my heart. You see, with the use of the preposition to, who becomes the indirect object, making the use of the word whom imperative, which I can easily show you by drawing a very simple chart. You too can lose your man if you will use Ruth Sherwood's plan. 100 easy ways to lose a man. That was act number 622, 100 Easy Ways to 